so uh, Philly, New York, Philadelphia trying to lock up, uh, still trying to lock up for three weeks now, that number one seed overall in the playoffs. And of course, the NFC East, Dallas is lurking, kind of like the way they do in Dallas, you know, behind <laughs> like big pails of hay, like, oh, you guys mess up, we'll pounce. Oh. Of course, they'll probably lose to the Commodores. Great camera. Uh, that'd wow. be yeah, very good over there. <laughs> that being said, you know, J- Jalen Hurts is the story, right? Bad shoulder, did he separate it, did he not separate it, blah, blah, blah. But I look at it from the other side. And the other side is New York. They have uh, clinched a playoff berth for the first time in six years. Philadelphia is a better team than them. They beat them by 40 about a month ago. But you're in. And their position in the playoffs cannot change. Yeah. So I guess there's two trains of schools of thought here. Keep the Momo going and play your guys or... Because you're concerned about Daniel Jones, A, Saquon Barkley, B, getting hurt. Danny Jones has never made it through an entire season until this year without getting hurt. Saquon Barkley did have four-week stretch there where his legs were tired. Do you sit him and get ready for what looks like a date in Minnesota? Or do you play them to keep the Momo going? I say that you sit them, you let them I rest. I do too. Yeah, put them on the bench, let them enjoy the game from the sideline. Let the Eagles stress about this weekend and go all out to get that number one seed to fight for that bye still. But yeah, sit Daniel Jones, sit Saquon Barkley, let those guys watch the game from the sideline, keep them healthy because they really are just the two-headed monster yeah, that needs to take just, them Yeah, and there's just level. nothing to gain by playing them. Yeah. Let, and make up a crazy scenario. Danny Jones throws for 600 yards and eight touchdowns and Barkley runs for 500 yards. Right. So what? It doesn't You're still matter. going on the yeah. road most likely to Minnesota. You don't get a little trophy, you know, for beating the Eagles in the last game of the year. Well, what about a little Although bit Although it would be nice if you did. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, what about this? Great. There's also a little bit of blood in the water, and you also just mentioned that they got their, you know, breaks absolutely they did. beaten last time. They, yeah. Wouldn't this send a little bit of a message to the NFL if they went in and beat I, the Philadelphia Eagles? Not no. to mention momentum, not to mention you keeping know, what, guys ready. What does the, the message matter if a week from now, you know, Saquon's dealing with a hamstring? issue going into the next round of the playoffs you know so it's like who cares about that message the message is that they they did a great job of surviving late in the season yeah they won the games that they needed to to finally clinch you know against Indianapolis who was falling apart and now the time is get healthy and play your best football yeah last unless if you want to tell me there's some guys that you want to play uh, because they haven't played a lot of football right you want to get them back into some kind of rhythm I'm down with that but the only two guys I'm really talking about here no, we are know. Saquon and Jones. Yeah, no doubt. And I just yeah. there's just no reason to possibly play those guys. And by the way, you could lose by 50. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change right. the feeling in that locker room. You're not suddenly like, oh, my God, what's wrong with us? You know what's right with you. And it's the way Danny Jones has played and Saquon Barkley. And I will say this. I'm not a Giant fan, but being a New Yorker, having a playoff game, I mean, you're in Jersey. You know what it's like. Uh, maybe you don't. It's been so long for both of us, right? <laughs> right, right. But, like, uh-huh. it's a, there's a different vibe right now because we have a New York football team in the playoffs. And I'll tell you right now, they can beat the Minnesota Vikings. Yes. They should have beat them or almost beat them a couple of weeks ago. They totally can. Absolutely. And- they match up really well against them. And Daniel Jones made one mistake really in that game that kind of let the game get away from them. But other than that, I mean, the Giants can do some damage. They are a tough football team. Kayvon Thibodeau is really coming together as an elite pass rusher. And, yeah, I mean, right now it is just keeping those two guys healthy. It is absolutely paramount for this. So here's the flip side, Philadelphia. Nick Sirianni talked about Jalen Hurts, and I think he separated it. I'm going to go to my grave telling you that it's worse than Jess O. Well, there's degrees of separation for your shoulder. Seven, right? right? I got it right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. You know, and, but, hey, it, you just see how important Jalen Hurts and that running game is for this team. By the way, do you think that, that uh, in a weird way, strengthen, strengthens his candidacy for the MVP? A lot of people say, well, if you don't play every game, how do you, how do you not give it to the guy that did play every game like Mahomes, right? Yeah. But in this case... You see a guy that well, his Tom, team. Well, Tom Tom wanted and he was out for four games when he got in trouble. That's that when he got suspended, yeah, right? Correct. Yeah, but do you yeah. think it helps his candidacy at all? I mean, it definitely proves to everybody at home, right? If not already, that hey, this, there's a reason why the Eagles are in the position that they're in, and it is because of Jalen Hurts and his ability to run the football and just put stress on the defense that Gardner Minshew and his talents can't. I think.
think it also answers Micah Parsons' question. Exactly that. Is it, uh, yep. is it him or is it the system? Right. Exactly I think we that. learned right. against the Saints. It's him. <laughs> that system didn't look so good. It lo- it, to be fair, though, it did look good the week before oh, yeah. oh, when they put 27 points offensively on the board. They scored 34 for the game. They had a pick six in there, too. Right. It did not look good against the Saints. Though. But And this is for just everyone at home. I mean, the difference is that the Saints are, are a team that matches up extremely well with the Eagles. They yeah. really do. Just because of, like you said earlier in the headlines, they're big, they're strong, they're physical. Their offense and defensive lines really can match up against any team in the NFL. They are a playoff caliber type of team. Yeah. So, you know, you absolutely see the importance importance now of Jalen Hurts and his ability. And it's funny, you go from uh, Philadelphia talking about their quarterback to a segment that doesn't have an official title, but I guess theoretically we could call it Nobody Asked and Nobody Cares. <laughs> As uh, Coach uh, Eberdouche in uh, Chicago. Oh, man. Uh, wow. How do you pronounce it? Not e- Matt. It's not, yeah, it's it's not Eber, that. It's Eber, not Eber, Eberdouche. Eberdouche. No, Eberdouche. 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 Oh, Eberdouche is a better name. <laughs> <laughs> right. Can you imagine if you're a, a young woman named just Maria Wilson and you fall in love with a guy whose last name was Eber Douche? Hey, Daddy, guess what? I'm going to be an Eber Douche. No, you're not. No, no. He's the greatest guy ever. Like, what's worse than that? Uh, falling in love with Eber Douche mm-hmm. or falling in love with the basketball player whose last name was Ho You Fat? I would love to fall in love with Ho You Fat. That's a great name. You would? Yes. So Hody Ho You Fat. You would what a change name. your name from Decker to Ho You in Fat? In a heartbeat. Really? And so would you. Would you hyphenate it or just go with Ho You Fat? I'd make it a full sentence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a great name. You I have love no that comment name. on this subject yeah. at all. Yeah. Like, oh. imagine, like, you think your wife would have married you if your last name was Ho You Fat? There's a chance she I might mean, have I mean, I like no. to think that it was like a love thing, you know, but yeah, there would probably been an issue there, so. Yeah. <laughs> My wife didn't even change her name to Denver, I mean, so. I, I told you that, you know, Harold Katz, the former owner of the Philadelphia 76ers, his son David married uh, a woman named Dawn. So her name is now Dawn Katz, but her maiden name was Mycock. <laughs> I think she upgraded personally. She did. She absolutely I mean, I, upgraded. Yeah, it's a true story. Yeah. No, that, that's a true story. Julia's last name's huh? going to be Gulia. Julia <laughs> Gulia. Gulia. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not her fault. Her dad was Mr. Mycock. Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. that the proper pronunciation? Yes. M Y. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, you want to spell yeah. out the rest? <laughs> you know how it goes. I once. I once dated a girl named Tammy Laycock. I mean, so, yeah. Did you? I, okay. I think they're European. Are they? Yeah. yeah maybe. I, I think a small sect of sheep farmers who have the last name, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like, names, up. like, are always, like, from, like, oh, my family was a blacksmith. That's how we got the name Smith. What did they do for a living? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. But I do know in Louisiana, you need to be 18 to watch it. That is I know true. that. Um, all right. So, Eber Flus, uh in Chicago. Uh, nobody asks, nobody cares, right? He was commenting about the health of his quarterback, Justin Fields. They have three wins, I think. Is that right, Troy? Yeah, they are 3-13. and 13, And a reporter had the balls to say to Eberflus, if this were a playoff game, <coughs> would he be playing? What? Chicago fans, man. And, he's, and Eberflus is like, oh, no, he'd be out. Yeah, we wouldn't. I think you have <laughs> Like, that reporter should be fired, I think. Uh, don't you think? Uh, it's not a good question. If this were a playoff game, we've got three wins in hey, here. If we were on the moon, would he play today? Right, we got eliminated from the playoffs <laughs> back around Labor Day. Right? Uh, yeah. Uh, but Justin Fields did have a bit of a breakout year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, albeit mostly with his legs. But, hey, if you can score touchdowns and get first downs, I think Chicago's probably pretty content that they've got their future quarterback, if nothing else, right? And the the aspect of him being an athlete on the field just buys him more time to develop as a thrower and as a passer, as the as the quarterback of the Chicago Bears. And that's something that something that Zach Wilson can't rely on. And that's why everyone's grilling him about his inability to pass the football. So Justin Fields, with his athleticism, it's just buying him time to allow him to get better and better as a quarterback at that level. Hey there! Thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.